Hello, and welcome to the semi-automatic farming edition of my piston series. First, we'll take a look at cacti farming. Now, cacti farms are already semi-automatic, but it can be a bit more dynamic in that you can turn the whole farm on and off to save on lag by installing a switch and uh, some pistons on the top instead of just having static blocks. So when I flip the switch, all the pistons go up, and you flip it again, and all of them go down. This is great on SMP so that you're not constantly lagging people around you in your village or town or whatever um, while you're not online and such. And it's pretty simple to wire up. What I have here is basically just the switch powering the block which turns off this torch since the default state is on. And that torch makes sure that this block is not powered and then this is powered because the block is not powered and the default state of the torch is on. So then all the wires just connect. Had to set up a repeater for this one, but they just connect as well easily. Ooh. Then you just flip the switch. Now, the great thing about it is that you don't actually have to have your stuff running at all and instead of just waiting for stuff to come down you can build a fairly sizable cacti farm with just about what you think you'll need at any, at any given time and then just install your pistons on the side like this instead of from the top that way when you press the button the top two cacti break off and provided they that they don't hit any other cacti you'll receive double what your normal production rate is. So this is a yield 12 cacti farm. It's basically just three standard cacti farms that are linked up. But if I were to install it like that, with them just breaking off the two, it would be a 12 yield cacti farm, but it would no longer be automatic. You would just flip a switch and then collect the 24 and flip the switch back off and, you know, leave until you need more cacti or you know in my case it's a button so I would recommend just using a button if you're going with that so rather simple to install functional I've done something similar with this sugarcane farm here in that I'm trimming off the top two bits of sugarcane So how I build my sugarcane farms is just a long stretch, sort of like a strip thing, with stripes of dirt and a pathway. And then I just build an outer wall and an inner wall. And underneath the inner wall, I have the water. And then when you install your pistons, you just leave a space at the last corner so that this piston has enough room to grow through. and then you just wire it up using a series of inverters behind the pistons and since their default state is going to be on you're going to need to turn their default state to be off by using another torch, another inverter. Normally of course you'd want the switch that you're using to be down on the ground or you know somewhere near the sugarcane for obvious reasons but I've installed it on the top just so that you can see what's going on using the glass that I have so basically I have a switch and a button the switch is for testing purposes so that I can just turn it on and the button for when I actually want to just break it once the redstone wire is coming down on top of this double inverter that's passing it onto the side and down to the back three. And then it's doing the same thing on the other side, except that it's going all the way down to the end through a repeater and along the back. And then through another repeater and along the side. That could have been skipped if I wanted to by just building sort of a step for the wire here, but I preferred to have this space just clear. And then when we come up, we just press the button or flip the switch. The pistons open and break off all the top two, just trimming them off. 
and then you just come down and collect them. Now this is a yield 54 sugarcane farm, so I should have 54 if I didn't have this stuff, so I'm just going to toss this away, just do a quick grow. Flip the switch again. Okay. So this yields 54 sugarcane. So if we collect them all, notice that I have 53 sugarcane. And you may have noticed that there's a sugarcane bit way out here where the back piston in front of the door just launched one of the sugarcane all the way out here. So what you want to make sure you have is a door, clearly, so that you don't get that. So if you just install the door about here or here, you'll be able to just collect them along with everything else. So once again, it's fairly simple, but this one's requiring a lot more redstone than other sort of things that I've done with farms here. Now the problem is that it doesn't work with wheat, because, as you may have noticed in the intro video, sort of skit thing, it breaks farmlands. If you have pistons down below actually touching the block, it might break the block and turn it into a dirt block, or just completely break the farmland. And if it does that, your crops will also be broken. Or, actually your crops may fall out and you can collect them, however you'd have to reset the entire farmland again and that would take a lot more time than simply replanting. So it's good if you need just an emergency uh, stock of crops, but not so good for just, you know, um, general farming. Now I've tried doing it with this, just having the pistons on top, but what it'll do is reset the dirt, or the farmland to dirt, I'll just give a quick demonstration of that. I just have a safety switch. You just pull it down and then press the button. But yeah, it resets it to dirt and you don't get your crop. So if I were to plant some seeds here and pull the switch, see it breaks the crops they haven't flown anywhere, they just broke, and you lose your farmland. So it's not very efficient at all, unless you just need an emergency stash of crops that you can break once and then redo whenever you have a severe need again. So they're all pretty simple, pretty easy to um, wire up, uh, provided that you have enough room and such. And that should be all for this video. See you next time.